What's up, my V lovelies? You guys, today is Easter. Happy Easter to everyone. He has risen. Jesus Christ has risen. And he took all power in his hands. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. He has all power in his hands. So he took that away from the enemy. And y'all, y'all know the rest. All y'all church folks, y'all know what it is. But anyways, y'all, I got the uh, crab legs in the building. This is a D-shell version. I have the uh, tiger shrimp in the building along with the lemons and the eggs and the sauce. So we're going to say grace and we're going to get it in. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food that we are about to receive. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Y'all, I ain't going to preach to y'all today. I ain't going to preach. Because <laughs> I'm like, I could say a sermon with the hee-hees and the ha-ha's and y'all know. I can do some huffing and puffing, <laughs> but I ain't going to do it. I'm going to spare y'all today. Anyways, y'all, so... I want to give a, uh, I'm not going to talk a lot. I hope that I talk a lot. So this is my, let me get a thumbnail. Because my husband is going to be getting me if I don't have a thumbnail. So I have the D-shell. Listen, y'all. So my husband cleaned out my freezer, deep freezer. And we found packs of, like four or five packs of these D-shell crab legs. So I'm good, y'all. I got more left. This is my thumbnail. Oh, is it? That's going to be good enough because uh, pull this closer to me. Got my spoon. Y'all, it's hot. Mm. Mm. I'm hungry. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yes, y'all, this is good. Anyway, ooh, like there. <clears throat> My mouth sauce is on sale. Go get it, y'all, while it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. It's on sale right now on Amazon. It's been going. Before I even I announced it, it be already been, I uh, had, have some sold. So go over there and get you some mouth sauce. And I'm going to do another video on how to make the sauce. Mm. Mm. Actually, how I make the sauce my way, cause everybody want me to do it the way exactly the way I do it. So that video will be coming out probably Tuesday of next week because uh, I just want to show y'all because I've been getting blown up for that. Mm. Mm. That's good. Y'all, shout out to Myrna and Jeremy. Shout out to them. 29 years of marriage. Shout out to you. Y'all, this is why I'm giving my shout out. If y'all don't know, I am on Cameo. Cameo is an app that you can get anybody that you need to, uh, you know, to, that you want celebrity wise or whatever for your loved ones and made for anniversaries for happy birthdays for shout outs and they will give you a personalized message from cameo of course you have to pay for it but that is a way to get to people you know to you know so you can be able to uh to be able to shout people out because when you are uh, are in um, social media you get a lot of people requesting shout outs and everything in order to be fair. So you just put out a cameo and you'll be like, oh, y'all got these shrimp. Yes, look at that. So shout out to them. Marna, I know they wanted me uh, to do it. Jeremy is the one that uh, got, uh, got me to um, give her a shout out. 
And so I shouted them out on Cameo, and I also want to give a shout out here. I hope you guys had an amazing time. I don't even know when the anniversary was. I know they just celebrate 29 years. 29 years, that's a blessing. So shout out to you again, Myrna. I hope you and Jeremy enjoyed your day. And I pray that God blesses you even more, with more years to celebrate with each other. Ooh, y'all, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Taking this off. But look at that shrimp. I want to I want to fry some of these bad boys. I keep on saying that. Y'all know I don't do a lot of fried foods. Oh, I didn't even use no lemon. What's wrong with me? I know y'all like, she ain't grabbed that lemon. I know some of y'all yelling at me right now. She ain't grabbed that lemon. I used some a little bit. Mmm. 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 That is so good, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. That shrimp is good. Mmm. It's just right. Mm -hmm. It is just right. Wow, that shrimp was good. Mm. Mm. All these, I got about nine of these here. Mm. Mm. I love when this stuff sit because it be all in the onions be so fine. onions y'all I cut up two whole onions I'm gonna let y'all know exactly what I do so you can get this type of sauce this exact type of sauce that I be eating in your house in your bowl because I know people be asking me because they said mine look more chunkier mm. Mm. I'm gonna let y'all know what the deal y'all is? Wow. Mm. And when I run out of um, sauce, I mean, onions and stuff, I add more. I add more. Uh, oh, excuse me. I gotta get another shrimp, y'all. Look at these big shrimp. This one is, I already know that's not going to be good. Some of y'all, these shrimp sometimes can be rancid. You could tell this is a good one because it falls apart. And that's not nobody's fault, y'all. Sometimes it happens right here. And if you want, you can call the company. And I'm sure they're willing to work with you. That's just the way it goes sometimes. need all of that but anyways we're gonna make it work mm. Mm. that's good y'all mm. 
I got those shrimp from. Mm. Great Alaska Seafood online, y'all. The tiger shrimp. Y'all want to know. <laughs> Let me take it to a whole nother level. About a packet with me. I'm gonna tell my husband to give me a packet of my salt. So I get new people coming in and they don't know what my sauce is. Some lady asked me, DM me, and she was like, Hi, I love your show. She said, What is the uh soup that you put your stuff in? <laughs> what is the soup mix you have? Mm. No, right. Mm. That's why I gotta let people know, y'all. Cause you never know. You just can't be a, be um just thinking everybody know you or everybody know what it is. Everybody don't know. I get people asking all types of questions, and I know, cause they just found my videos. They never seen my videos before. So, quite naturally, they're going to have questions. And it's okay. Mm. Mm. These eggs still cold. And good. Hey Nate, I need a packet of sauce. So y'all, we trying to wrap up on the sauce. Sauce. Look at this big bad boy. Ooh, y'all see that? Uh, oh, excuse me. Ooh, this stuff is spicy. I feel it in my, 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 my tongue. I made it more. I put two times spicy noodles um, sauce in this. Aren't you? Mm -hmm. So that's why it's spicy, but I like my spice spice. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. That just be good. I think when you have that suck action, it opens up more of your taste buds. Look at that shrimp. Look at all that, y'all. This stuff is huge. This ain't no joke. These tiger shrimp don't be playing no games. They ain't playing no games with you. Mm. 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 It's so good. It's shrimp. Mm. Those shrimps are hitting today. Mm hmm. And so how y'all holding up? 
Man, I have my up day, my down day, my crazy days. Y'all. Oh, goodness. Some days I don't want to put makeup on. One day I had a, did a video with a roll ball. I was like, right as well, shoot. I didn't put no makeup on, nothing. I can't find this meat, this um, Mercer's meat nowhere. I've been searching for it. Hopefully they come back with it soon. Mm. Mm. I still got five left. I'm gonna finish these shrimp. Cause if I have these left, I don't care because I can still heat those up and use them. Mm. There's something about that sweet and that yolk. That sweet and that yolk go together really good. And some people don't like the yolk. Mm. These eggs is addicting. Keep on, I say that every time I'm. It can be repeated, y'all. Repeat, repeat. Repeat, repeat, mm, repeat, repeat. Mm. That shrimp. Look at that shrimp. Look at that shrimp. Look at the shrimp. Ooh, I took I took a lot. I took a lot of seasons out of here. A lot of my onions are gone. Y'all can tell, can't y'all? If y'all can't, I can. I'm gonna eat one more of this. I'm gonna eat these two, and then I'm gonna have five of these long legs left. So that means I ate. I only ate four of them. Change. Mm. Mm. And y'all ain't no, like, if I want to go get, like, Jamaican food or... Indian food, anything like that? Nope, ain't open. You got McDonald's, you got your loco, Wendy's. Of course, you got Outback, but Outback ain't got um, no seafood. They ain't selling no lobster tails. They sell only steaks and stuff. So it's like it's limited out here, y'all. Mm. Mm. Well, basically, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's a mook bomber, y'all. Hey, did y'all see that? Uh, I don't know if it was a trick or not, but um, uh, Nicolada avocado is going vegan. I don't know if it's real or not. I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. But I haven't seen him post a video yet on him being. But 
to this shrimp on point. Mm. Tenderness and all. So good. So he go on vegan, and I'm like, whoa. And he showed his, uh, y'all, he had like, I kid you not, like, at least 50 to 60 bananas. And he said that was, that's what he's going to eat the whole day. Fifty to sixty bananas. He had it was leaked mounds of bananas. Y'all look at his uh, video called uh, "Nick Cloud Avocado Going Vegan." I'm going vegan. That's all he said. I'm going vegan. I don't know what channel it was on. Uh, oh, excuse me. He got three. He got four channels, y'all. Four. So, but um, uh, four. And, um, yeah, so he had 60, 60 or 70 bananas, and I'm just like, he was like, two of them, he's going to, it was a two, two big, uh, bundles he was going to eat for breakfast. Then for lunch, he was going to have, like, three more bundles. Then for dinner, he was going to have a massive amount of bundles because he said for dinner, he had to have a big amount in order for him to sleep. He said that when he eating that, he has to have a lot of food. And then, like, because he, he if he eats seafood or when he eats seafood, it doesn't make him full. And he's struggling all night trying to sleep. Because seafood, y'all, believe it or not, digests faster than the regular food. For some people. This is why I love seafood so much. It's more better on your body to digest it than other food. So... You don't feel as bad when you get done with doing your mukbangs or, you know, depending on how much you eat, how, how your system works. Everybody's system don't work the same, but if you find something that digests is good and makes you feel good, you don't feel lethargic and you still can get work done, then you're doing good. Because I could eat a uh, seafood and I won't, you know, sometimes you'll feel down for a little bit like, okay, I don't have to get up. But then once you start moving, you good. But if you do that on other food, you be ready to be like, uh-uh. I'm done for the whole day. Don't bother me. Don't talk to me. Don't touch me. But with them, mm -mm. But for the most part, that's why I try to not really focus on a lot of carbs. Not eat carbs, y'all. Y'all see me eat carbs. But for the most part, you see me not eat a whole bunch. I don't eat a lot of like fast food like Wendy's and McDonald's and stuff. If I can help it. But, I can't believe, I was ready to see him go vegan, because he did really good when he went vegan. I'm like, but, when he first started doing videos, he was vegan, and he uh looked really, really small. Very small, very healthy. But I think he said it started to take a toll on his body, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, so, uh, excuse me. Um, but he's going to try it again. And he said whatever he put his mind to, he does it. So, but I would think, let me just say this, because I know, y'all, y'all know dieting is very, very hard, right? Go hear me out. Mm. It's extremely hard. And to me, the older you get, the <clears throat> the more worse it get. Like, he was young when he trained his body to be vegan. So your mind is more pliable. Your body is more pliable. It's, it's just better. Am I saying that right? I hope that I'm saying that right. Anyways, but anyways, it's better. It's better. It's more healthier. It's more young. It's more focused and everything. But when you switch, flip the switch, and you start eating, like, fast foods and different things like that, it's like your body get used to eating that way, and it craves it. It craves it so badly when it cannot have it. 
the body wants what it wants. So, because I know, because when I started, you know, doing low carb, it took a lot to get my body trained. Like, okay, I don't want sweets. I don't want sweets. I don't want sweets. Now, I don't even have to eat sweets. That's why I don't eat sweets like that because my body has been trained for a minute. It takes years to get to that point. Well, well, I say not years, but months and months and months and months, almost years, almost a year or whatever. And some of y'all can attest to that because it just ain't easy like that. So my question is, I wonder how you're going to do it, not say that he can't. I'm just like this, y'all. I just hope he can do it because it takes double the discipline when you're trying to retrain your body. You know what I'm saying? And the older you get, especially when somebody like Nick Ocado that has eaten, you know, the t he eats every fast food chain that you could ever think of. Nick Ocado has touched. He has surfaced. He has touched it, touched it. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what people are used to with him. And the, But I'm just wondering if his body is going to be able to adjust easily to the tra transition of being just vegan. Or do you think that he should ease his way into veganism? You know, like, probably eat like, uh, you know, like low carb. Anything that you do, like, especially at my age, I'm just like, you have to ease yourself into stuff. Because if you do cold turkey... It is worse. I think, for me, I'm talking about my experience. I think it would be worse. So, but if you ease yourself, say, okay, y'all, I eat, like, if you say, I, for example, you eat 1,500 carbs a day, okay? I'm just throwing them out there. 1,500 carbs a day. But you saying you want to ease your, ease your way into um, keto or low carb or whatever, but you want to cut, just cut something out. All you got to do is say, okay, I'm going from 1,500 to I'm going to go half. Okay, so instead of doing, uh, we're going to do 750, 750 carbs a day. And then you can gradually do it every two months and write it in your goal book. Okay, every two months, I'm going to go down a, 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 a hundred carbs every two months because your body, it wouldn't be so much of a shock to your body. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because I'm going to tell you something. When you go that low carb, you can start getting headaches when you go too low. I experienced it, so I already know. Headaches, your body don't feel right. You start having sweats, and your body start craving sweets like no other. Like crazy, like really, really crazy. So you have to learn how to balance that. Instead of going cold turkey and shocking your body, you, you can put your body in shock. So you just gradually change it whatever and you will see a difference in your weight and it'd be so much easier for you to maintain it for the long haul because when you stop cold turkey which i ain't saying nobody can't do it because people i can't do it because some people have such strong willpower and what you need to have such strong willpower that nothing deters them from getting to their goal or getting to where they got to get and i know that nick has a lot of willpower but I'm just interested to see how it's going to turn out for him, uh, basically transitioning for him going cold turkey like that to veganism right away. Because it has, it does be a struggle when you're trying to change your, you know, change to something new. Y'all know, I hope y'all get what I'm trying to say. It's not no shade to uh, Nick, because y'all know I love Nick. I uh, love him, love him, love him. But I'm just saying... I'm just interested to see how that works. Because you know I'll be watching him. I'm going to watch and wait and see. Because even though I know he's going to get the views. Because he has the personality for it. He's going to get the reviews regardless if he do vegan or not. not because you know uh, Nick will bring it to you. He can be dramatic. He, he can be whatever. And people are going to watch because people are want to know his life. It's just who he is. I don't care if this man can sit on, t on, on the video and just as soon as he put a video out, they going to click. He could be like this on there. That's it. And they going to watch because it, it's Nick Akato. He has a personality. People like drama. People like all, you know, when you be all uh, diva, you know, big and, you know, just like dramatic. And he is that. Especially when he be like, Siri. Okay, Siri, 
Siri, I should even even get mad at Siri. It is so funny. It is the most hilarious thing you could ever think of because you would think Siri is a real person to him. And y'all, so he does the craziest things when he was like, Siri, Siri. And he literally having a conversation with Siri and an argument. And not just be like, it is the most hilarious thing you could ever think of. And not just be busting up. I'll be like, oh, okay, Nick. So, I mean, y'all don't get it. But y'all don't get that, yeah, that's Nick on, on video. That's the video Nick y'all get. I get the real business-minded Nick. Nick trying to go somewhere. The Nick that is very sweet, you know, considerate. Because he he's, that's why I say, it's a lot of these social media uh, people that you see, they are one way, presenting themselves one way to you on social media just to get the, sometimes to get the clicks and the views and the clicks and the views. You, they develop this character that has to carry them, and that's who they are, and they keep that character going on social media. But when they click off of social media, they just normal people, just like me and you. They just like regular, normal people. Now, some people go on social media and be who they are on, on off camera. I'm not really a personality like that where I'm just like, I'm just is the way I am Bethany. I'm just pl point blank who I am on or off this video because I can't be nobody. I don't know how to do all that, you know. I think it would be too much energy, y'all. It takes too much time and energy to be trying to be somebody else. So I'll just be myself, which is good for me because I can just be on here anytime and be, I ain't got to think of nothing to say or uh, what to do. Like when Nick did his uh, uh, vegan video, he has so many beeps in there and wasn't even cussing. He wasn't even cussing. He just beat out the, the word more eat, the word eat, the more vegan, the, 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 the word uh, uh, that. And it wasn't even no cuss word. So I know. And, and it was funny because I'm like, okay, y'all y'all sitting up here getting mad, but y'all still watching. And y'all watched the full video. And I know you did because you're commenting on something he said at the end of the video. And I'm like, see? And Nick knows what he's doing. He is not a dumb man. He knows exactly what he's doing. But you know what? That's who he is. And people love it. I don't care what you say. People love it. And they live for it every single day. No matter how much they say, why am I here? Why am I here? Why am I clicking on this video? You still going to watch it? Be quiet. You still going to watch Because you ain't got nothing else better to do. And you like drama. And you strive. And you want it. And you, you know. And we're going to get it. And when I say about when I mean by we, it's YouTube creators is going to give you. We're going to give you whatever you want to see. And now, like some people think that I'm just over the top, or I'm loud, or I'm ignorant, or I'm this. But you know, they are still going to watch you, regardless of how you they think your personality should be or shouldn't be, because they don't understand this stuff is not easy. This stuff is not easy, and I. It's like you if you have somebody come on here for even. A week or two weeks. You have a question like, wow, you guys do all this. Y'all make it look easy. We do. We make it look really, really easy. But it's not easy as people think. Even though you say we just eat or we just do this or we just do that. Any social media person, you just do this. You just, okay, then if it's just that easy, why don't you do it? Because you see a lot of those people, influencers that are bigger in numbers. You, you know what I'm saying? They are, they are a big influence and they make good money so i'm not if it's that easy it's not that easy and not no we chose this career path and we did we absolutely did but at the same time we love what we do most of us love what we do we actually do love it i know i do because it's my ministry i love what i do i wake up every morning like thank god for this i'm thanking god for giving me this platform it is an amazing platform to have and um just to be a blessing to others so that's why i said y'all it ain't that easy, but, you know, it's a blessing to have. And uh, I don't know, y'all. I, I know I was just trying to talk about Nicocado, Avocado, but his, I'm just interested. Just let's, I'm interested to see how he's going to do the vegan. I know uh, when um, Steve, Steve, Steve and Sushi, Steve Sushi, y'all know him. He has a mukbang channel. And he always, he's, he does this, uh, he want to go keto. 
keto keto that's why i said you have to ease your way into it and you know by us being social media influencers if we announce that we're going on a diet or we're going on a fast or we're doing it it's like everybody got us under a microscope we cannot do anything wrong you gotta be perfect you can't eat this you can't eat that they be looking at what you eat oh you're not supposed to be eating that i thought you were keto oh you're not supposed to eat that what are you doing i saw you the other day and you were it's like you have no you 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 cannot hide anything all your secrets are out like literally if you go to a restaurant and somebody see you and you scarfing down burgers and scarfing down uh uh potatoes and all this stuff that's high carb and you said you was on a low carb diet you getting buked you gonna get buked 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 on an internet they are going to to have you for breakfast lunch and dinner so you might as well get ready for it <clears throat> That's just the way it is in social media. It's like whatever you put out there, that's what your supporters going to expect you to do. Just like when I was drinking water. I was drinking water, y'all, for so long, for many months. I didn't drink nothing else but water. But you know what? I had to help hold myself accountable. Regardless if I went out, I still had to get water. You know why? Do you know how many people i seen at restaurants that knew me or saw me? And just think if I was walking around, if I, I if I had a, a, a soda or a Coca-Cola or a Sprite, they'd probably be like, oh, I thought she was just drinking water. Then you not, you that's your brand. You're not credible no more to them. They're like, she be lying because I saw her drinking uh some Coca-Cola. I saw her drinking an orange fanta when I and I thought she was just drinking water. So you cannot. You cannot get caught slipping. That's why you got to be very careful of what you announce on this platform. Or what you do because you're going to be held accountable. And I know sometimes I've said things on this platform. Be like, man, and you can't keep to it or you got to you gotta take your time. And it just happens because life happens. But when it comes down to like dieting, whoa, Nelly. When you die, they will get you. They got Stephen so sushi so bad. He got first and frustrated. And he should because... People are coming on you like, oh, why are you eating this? Why are you eating that? Why are you eating? Sometimes it's not that easy. Y'all know dieting ain't easy. Y'all know sometimes some some of us do yo-yo dieting. I did yo-yo dieting for, for years, y'all. Up and down, up and down, up and down. So I found what was right for me. You know what I'm saying? What was right for me. And now I got a down pack because I've been doing it for so many years. Look, how is Darius? Darius is 19. So you out good probably 18 17 years i've been living my life like the uh low carb thing up and down because in the beginning when i started this youtube journey i was not doing low carb but i could feel it in my body that's why i changed so much to doing seafood a lot and doing um you know chicken and you know uh, uh chicken and ribs and stuff like that when y'all see things over and over and over again because that's what works for my body that's what works for my channel that's what works for my health that's just me and not not to say nobody else because other people can do it too you know they do that's why i said you got other channels out there that do mukbangs that eats outside eat everything that i don't eat like if they can eat uh like my son's channel zaddy chum chum he eats everything that you want to see, like, um, on restaurants. Every restaurant you can think of, he eats. Nikocado is like that. Every restaurant you can think of, he eats. You got, uh, who else is like that? You got, um, who else is like that? It's a lot of them out there like that, y'all, that can eat whatever and different variety. You even got Yummy Bites. Yummy Bites TV, you got, uh... Missy Corner, you got, uh, because Tay and Lou and Stephen Tosh do a lot of seafood boys too, like me. They do a lot of seafood, which is, yeah, you can get, you know, um, control your weight more. Just think about it. Look at people that do a lot of seafood. Look at their weight. Look at their, how much they're gaining weight or not gaining weight. Just look at them. And you'll see what we're talking about as opposed to people that are doing more of the, 
And y'all, this is no shade. I'm just trying to tell y'all something. So don't even try to come at me. Tell me, oh, she's trying to be shade. No, I'm not. I'm just trying to tell y'all. Look at the difference. Because just to prove to y'all that doing seafood boils is the most healthier way. Or if you see a lot of people doing chicken or a lot of high-protein meals, that is why. Because I get this question all the time. How do you keep your weight down? Even when I'm in interviews. I just did an interview with Sheen Magazine on um on Instagram Live. And that's the first thing they asked me. And I did that today, y'all, if y'all want to know. But anyway, this is the first thing they asked me. Uh, how do you keep your weight down? That's the first thing anybody asks me. A, a radio station, if I'm doing a news interview, if I'm doing a um, newspaper article, if I'm doing magazine, it doesn't matter. That's the first thing they ask me. And that's why I explained to them. It is not about the Because in the beginning, I'm telling y'all, I was like, ooh, wait, I can't keep going on like this. Well, remember when I we used to eat? I used to eat Wendy's, Burger King. I did I used to? Wow, I really didn't. I did do that stuff. I used to eat Burger King, Wendy's. I eat like 60, 70 wings. I would eat like uh, finishing 70, 100 meatballs. How many can I eat? I would do these big, massive challenges that I couldn't, y'all, because it was taking a toll on my body. I was literally like miserable. Like, because y'all don't see the aftermath of the camera. You got to sit with that stuff on your stomach and you like... You just miserable. I just can't. And by me being forty five, I have to watch, <clears throat> be a bit more careful. I know y'all say, well, this is you're eating all this butter, but the butter I try to water down down for me. You know, as far as eating a lot, of, putting a lot of chicken broth. Yeah, but you not. I'm not eating this whole thing in a sitting. Do y'all know how long? I'm gonna just show y'all my big pot I made. This stuff lasts a long, long time for me. I can even freeze it and unfreeze it. I'm not eating. It's not like I'm just taking this and I'm drinking the whole thing. It's not like that. And it doesn't affect my body because I have it mixed with a lot of things to make it to dilute it. Um, my blood pressure ain't affected by it. And it ain't changed none of my vital signs. So I'm cool with it. And, of course, I got the, you know, the crab legs or whatever. But, y'all, like, like I said, like this meal I had today. I know I'm talking, y'all. This meal I had today was all protein. There was not one thing in there that was carbs. I have zero carbs. But actually, no, let me just say this. Oh, let me disclaimer, because I ain't gonna even lie. I have sugar, brown sugar in this. It's brown sugar. So that is counted as a carb. Sweets, it is counted as a carb, but that's it. So if you want to omit the brown sugar, don't add, I add more, way more brown sugar. But in this pack, there is brown sugar. There's one scoop. Do I have one scoop? Yes, yeah, one scoop in the whole entire pack, which is still low carb. How low carbs is this? This actually say uh twenty one percent carbs, fifty seven grams of carbs in this whole pack. But if you eat, make this whole pack, it's fifty seven grams of carbs. But look, y'all, y'all ain't gonna eat this whole pack of butter. You're not going to eat this. You are not. There is impossible. This was, I made this to the point where when I made the serving size, four serving size per container, which is going to change to eight serving size per container because everybody does not eat sauce like that. If you're having a, 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 a big, huge gathering, you're going to make a big bowl of this, but everybody's not going to eat that entire bowl. They're going to have, push, it's going to be portions. And so you're going to have your little um, thing. And some people just dip their stuff in there like that. Because some people don't like a lot of sauce on their stuff. They just dip it a little bit and they fine. I dip it a lot because I like a lot of sauces and I love the vegetables that's in the sauce. Everybody's not like that. Some people like their stuff uh, very, very plain. And they like a little sauce. Like, say for instance, Trista, uh, Trisha, Trisha Paytas. Trisha likes her stuff kind of dry she don't like a lot of sauces on her burgers or her her um mcdonald's sandwiches her burger king chicken sandwiches or whatever she eats she does not like a lot of sauce so a person like her is just gonna dip like this and be fine and be like okay and they ain't got hardly no butter content in it because they ain't really ate nothing so that's what i be saying about this stuff y'all but this does make one batch of sauce but if you're alone you can get like eight to ten batches out of this i promise you and because i'm telling you with this stuff, you can add more broth, more veggies, more everything to make it stretch it. And it will take you a long, 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 long time to, to uh, go through this pack, especially when you're doing it alone or you have another person with you. It takes a long time. And the other um, part you can freeze. I've been getting this um, um, this 
uh, question all the time through comments and DMs and emails. How long can they keep it? You can keep this five to seven days. It can be longer, but I'm just going to be safe to say five to seven days you can keep it in the refrigerator and it's still going to taste good and fresh. Long as it's in a, a, a tightly sealed um, container, you gonna it's going to last you. Just after you uh, make it, put it up in a tightly sealed container in your refrigerator five to seven days and it's still going to be fresh, reheated up in the on the stove. That's what I do because that's the best result because it you know, boils it and make it better. Also... People ask me, um, can they freeze it? You can freeze this up to six months. So six months of a freeze, you can freeze it up to six months. And you, when you unfreeze it, it's going to even taste better. The longer it sits, the better it tastes. So basically, I tell people, and I think I've added that on my packet on my next one. Um, I added the words of... Please make the sauce the night before, the day before. If you made this the day before, you are going to be good because it it gives it time to marinate. You know, anything that you make, you got to give it time. Like spaghetti tastes better on the second day. Soups taste better on the second day. Chilies taste better on the second day. Whatever you make is going to taste very better on the second day because you're letting it sit. You're letting them flavors marinate and marry each other and it begins to, begins to um, you know, insert itself into whatever item it's in like if it's in meat or the juices with with meat or maybe the juices are with vegetables especially with vegetables y'all that stuff getting into the side of them vegetables the vegetables become that flavor it becomes the flavor one with that flavor so that's all i gotta say but i'm gonna make a video again about this um of how to make it i'm gonna do that Monday and it's gonna come out Tuesday. Yep, it's gonna come out Tuesday because everybody and I keep on they keep DMing me and I say, oh, well, I'm gonna make one in a few days. So maybe I'll just get back to them and tell them I'm gonna make one Tuesday. But I, I'll probably let I what I'm gonna do is put it on Instagram because I get a lot of big DMs Instagram and then I'll put it on YouTube as well so y'all would know the way I make it. Even though I tell y'all this on this package. I do it my way, and when I say my way, I'm adding two big onions, huge onions, because I like a lot of onions. I'm adding a lot of garlic. I ain't paying attention to this little thing right here. I just did this to be safe, because I know it's going to be people ordering my sauce who don't even never seen me, never seen me before, just ordering it and buying it because somebody told them to buy it. And then they'll make it plain as ever or whatever they because this is just a base. I be telling people, this is just a base. You can do whatever you want to add to this stuff. If you want to add, some people be adding bell peppers. They be adding mushrooms. That's muscle and marrow. Shout out to them. They be adding, um, um, uh, jalapeno peppers, but whatever peppers you want, you can add to this. You can add whatever you want. Some people add, uh, make it with, I can't believe it's not butter. I had some girl and made it with olive oil without the, uh, without the butter. So you can make it any way you want to. I just, I just provide the base and then you can add any vegetables you want to add to it the way you like it. But with me, I just make it like this and I make it with the, the three vegetables, which is the garlic, the ginger, the pickle ginger, and the onions. And then I add brown sugar to mine because I like a, a, a sugary, sugar, sugary, well, no, it's not sugary, sweet and savory taste. So if you like a sweet and savory taste, that's what you do. You add more brown sugar. But if you don't want to add brown sugar, don't do it because some people don't like it. Like uh, Miss C Corner, she doesn't like the brown sugar like that. She likes a very light, like light hint of sweetness, not very overpowering. She likes more of a savory taste. Which is fine. Some people are like that. So people be asking me, oh, you know, I added too much brown sugar. What should I do to make it, bring it down? Add some more lemons. Add some more vinegar. That is going to offset that brown sugary taste that you're tasting. And so it works for people. It works. And then once um, it sits overnight, y'all. So that's what I'm saying. If y'all add spices, add more spices to this, be careful. Because the first day, you're going to be like, oh, it ain't that spicy. It ain't that spicy. But the longer you make this stuff sit, let it sit, it's going to get spicier and spicier and spicier. I promise you. And you're going to be like, Dad, I didn't remember it being that spicy because you guys didn't let it sit. So the longer it sit, the better it gets. And like I said, and everybody that buys it, purchases said, you can get a lot, lot, lot of um, eats out of that. You really can. And then, like I said, you can rationale out and you don't have to really... Use all of this. You can just use portions of it. 
portions, portions, portions. And you can use some for your seasoning. Like people be seasoning up meats and stuff and putting it in Alfredo sauces. and Because you can do way more stuff to this than you think. You can use it as a seasoner. You can use it as a, a sauce or whatever. But I think that's all I got to say. I don't even know how I got into this. But anyways, y'all. But I'm going to let y'all go. Hoo-wee. I'm full as a tick on a dog, but I'm not to the point where I can't do nothing. So what I'm going to do is uh, clean up, clean up everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Share. Um, but yeah, I guess I will talk to you guys later. And I, actually, you know, no, I'm not. I'm going to see, this is what happens. I always say I'm going to go, and then I look at the clock. It's 20. Well, I've been on here for 50 minutes and 25 seconds, okay? So I feel like, figure, figure that, man, if I go nine more minutes, nine and a half more minutes, that's all I got to go. So what else could I talk about in the nine minutes? Maybe I go back on the subject what I was talking about. But y'all understand what I was saying about the uh, the profile of what the, the, the way you have to present yourself when you are a brand and some things that you say. Because I'm like, I didn't, I didn't make a lot a lot of st- things that I've said on video, and then people be like, "Well, I thought you said," and my I thought, and I'll be like, "Dang, okay, y'all be paying attention, attention, attention." I'll be like, "Wow!" So that's why I said that when you're doing anything, like I said, a, a diet or anything on this platform, you are going to be watched like a hawk. So. What I was saying about Stephen Sushi, he did his the, his his low carb. He did it one time, and then he started eating regular food again. I guess you know he switched up and started eating his regular food, like his Domino pizza, his wings, and different things like that. And so people started going in on him, and I'm just like, that is so annoying. And I don't think people understand what it feels like. When you got all these people coming at you with this hate. See, you got to understand, we are in this position, but when you got hundreds of people coming at you, hundreds of people giving you messages, hundreds and hundreds, you like, that in itself is overwhelming. If you, even if you get like four or five, and you're a smaller channel, that's overwhelming. Nobody want to hear negativity all the time. Be like, okay, man, you this, you that, you did, you did, you did, you did. And you're like, wow. Because it takes away from all of the other comments and people don't understand it. They don't get it. They don't get it. It's like, it's like live a day in my shoes and you will understand where I'm coming from. But he was getting all this hate. And I'm just like, dang. It gets to a point where we do, us content creators do get used to it. It gets to the point where you be like, okay, you, you shrug it off. You don't like whatever. It is what it is. You're going to have it. You're going to get it. It's going to be some hate. But it gets to a point where you, that's, but that comes with developing or developing coping skills of how to deal with it. Because say for instance, if I was a person, which is uh, some creators out there like that, that's, that's social media creators, influencers that are out there like that, that loves to read the hate comments. They, will, they, don't, they don't love it, but they like, they read it. They read their hate comments. And it puts them in this whole different stoop, like literally mood. And they feel bad. They go in depression and all that stuff. So what I do to protect my energy and protect who I am as a person, because I know I'm a brand. I know I get on this camera every day. Because it's hard, y'all, when y'all first start doing this stuff. It's really hard to get adapted to what people think about you or how they look at you. And you seeing all these things like, no, that's not me. Who are you talking about? I didn't say it that way. I didn't mean it that way. Or they try to twist and turn your words. So you have to get to a point where you're like, okay. And you hate that you have to, other people are going to suffer from these the people that are, you know, writing these hate comments. And I don't care what nobody said. I know the difference between constructive criticism as opposed to someone doing it and just doing it to just try to embarrass you or try to, you know, try to uh you know talk about you in a in a derogatory way i know the difference i don't care what nobody said people say oh they can't take constructive constructive um, criticism yes people can they absolutely can but there is a way and it's a time to do it and for me if i if i ever want to tell somebody something i am not going to try to check them 
or try to do it in a way that it's going to embarrass them. But I will kindly write them an email or maybe give them a DM or maybe try to, you know, talk to them in a, in a, another way if something was bothering me and I want to get to get across or if it's something, you know what I'm saying? I could, that, that is the way you, you do it. But some people, I don't know. And it has been some people that did it very, very, very maturely and I could take it. I'm like, okay, I understand that. I can understand that. And they're doing the comments and it's very, very, it's very, very, uh, tasteful but you got some people that are tasteless it's just like you it, it, you know that's not how you do that because you know they're angry they're mad they don't like you or whatever the case may be that they will come at you like that but listen y'all at the end of the day you get used to it and when you get into social media a lot of people be writing me I want to start a channel so bad, so, so bad but I care about what people think about me I know when they come at me and this and that you just have to think of ways to be able to cope with it. Um, and in the beginning, like I said, it was kind of harder. But then, as me and my family, uh, you know, we are each other's support system. That's why I say you have to have a support group with you. Um, be able to be able to link up with a lot of other YouTubers that understand it and get it. Because if you're talking to somebody that don't do YouTube and don't understand YouTube, they're not going to get it. They're going to think, oh, hey, ain't nothing wrong with ain't Hey, you can do easy. Ignore that. You can do this, and then don't worry about that. It's easier said than done. You're not in our position, so you're not understanding where we're coming from because you're not getting all these messages all day, every day, or people getting. But it can take a toll on you. I don't care if you're the strongest person in the world. I don't care if you think that oh, oh, every no. You could be you can you you can get it. I'm telling you, it can get overwhelming, overwhelming. So you gotta think away. So I don't be in my comments. Because they try to, it's like the bigger you get, the worse it gets. I don't be in my comments. And I also, I be in my DMs because my DMs on my um, Instagram, I try, I be over there more than I do anything. Because I still try to keep the engagement open. And sometimes I try to, I answer emails. I try to answer some emails. Whether you guys believe it, and I know some of y'all that watch me, y'all know. Because I have responded to y'all. I try to, but it's only so much that I can do as one person getting all of these emails and DMs and, and, and YouTube uh, messages and Facebook messages. I get messages from every, all those four things, I'm getting messages all the time, constantly. All, and it's not only because of YouTube. It could be YouTube. It could be how to, when to, what you're doing. Can I do a seafood boil with you? I want to be uh, able to go. It's, it, it's business related. Then you have the sauce people, people asking me about the sauce. So y'all have to understand all these things are coming on at once once to me and one day I'm getting all of this stuff added to me so it's like it's kind of hard for me to keep up and you know I get what I can get I do what I can do I do what I can do y'all and if I can't do no more I'm not gonna stress myself out because I just can't because I still have to come on here every day for y'all and have a positive attitude and some days y'all shoot y'all see me sometimes I'm like y'all I'm tired today I'm got low energy today or you know it I ain't feeling it today so it's like that sometimes but all in all us social media influencers we really be going through and like I said you know when they did that Steven I was like wow and he's over it he was mad, he, but he got old. You know, he's like, man, I'm going to do what I want to do. You know what he did? He said, I'm starting low carb again. He did the same thing. And he said, you know what? He don't care about what y'all think because it's the truth. If he messed up, he messed up. People do it. We on camera all the time. We tell y'all the truth of what we going through. And y'all act like some of y'all ain't never been through this. Y'all ain't never yo-yo dieted. Y'all ain't never. Y'all y'all start something. Y'all always finish it to the end. It don't work like that in life, boo-boo. We human. Sometimes we start something we don't finish. And it happens. We could do it several times. Then one time, you could, the, the thing about it is what I like about anything that you start, you probably don't finish it that time, but you would keep on starting over. You can keep on starting up to the point one, to that one time you finish it to the end. That's the important thing, that you finish it all the way to the goal. And I know I've started things, started things over and over and over and over until I get it right. You can stop, finish, stop, finish, stop, finish. But one of them times is going to be a stop. It's going to be a, a start. And then you're going to finish to the end. So you can start, finish, start, finish, start, finish. But the the the, name, the main focus is you're going to want to finish. And one of them times is going to be a finish. So, yeah, I'm going to let y'all go right now for real because my time is going to run out. But y'all get what I'm saying. So I don't know if I was all over the place. 
But I know some of y'all was following me where I go. Cause some of y'all be like, yeah, we understood what you were saying. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, on that note, I'm going to let you go. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone and everyone. Let them know what you girls do in this channel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I love you guys so, so, so much. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed, stay prayed up, wash your hands, ask God to bless you and cover your immune system and every loved ones and their friends and families and everywhere across the world, y'all, so we can get back to what we need to get to in this world. Anyways, God bless y'all and happy Easter again. He has risen. He has risen, y'all. And for that, we were able to go to our Father and on behalf of Christ, Jesus Christ, ask for forgiveness. So I What's up, my? Make sure you like, share, and subscribe.